Veda is coming to an end, which means you get one more episode on vlogging. Today, Mike spotlights the equipment he uses for his vlog channel. What is up everyone, my name is Zesty Mike. As Rick said, Veda is coming to an end, so that means we have time to make one more episode over vlogging. Today I want to take a second to spotlight a few different products that I started using on my channel this month. In order to have a successful vlog channel, you have to be able to offer something different, whether it be personality or production value, being different in general, or a combination of these things. As we all know, quality is very important to a vlog channel, so this month I bought a few things to help push the overall production value of our channel. The first of which is made by Rycote and it's something that every vlogger could use. They're micro wind jammers that go over your microphone and greatly reduce wind noise. A while back I made a video on how to make your own windscreen and at the time I looked around to see if there was anything like this and I could not find a single thing so you can imagine my surprise when I found this product. As you can guess, I was pretty excited. It works on all cameras and even phones. The way it works is it's simply a double-sided sticker that you put over the microphone and then you put your wind jammer on top. The windscreen breaks the air from hitting the microphone. By the time it gets to the microphone, all you can hear is the sound of the wind, not the wind scratching over the microphone, which is nice. For $15, you get a pack of 30 sticky mounts and then eight wind jammers. So far, I've had one on my camera for about a week and I've never changed it once. So if I had to guess, I would feel like one pack for $15 would last at least three months. Even when the sticky mount loses its stickiness, the wind jammer will still be fine, so I have a feeling it will last quite some time. The only downside I've seen so far is my camera has a left and a right mic, not just one mic on top or in front, so the sticky mount didn't really work as expected. The sticky mount is a circle that has a little circle cut out in the middle for the microphone. Mine, however, was over here and over here where the sticky mount covered, so it muted the microphone as a whole. So what I did I just simply cut a strip where the microphone is and that works just fine. So overall no complaints with this product and it's something that every vlogger can use and it's really good if you are an outside vlogger. If you sit inside it's not really a big deal but if you're outside in the elements and it's windy it can help your vlog a lot. If you're interested in checking this out I'll put a link down in the description below. Now the next item I want to spotlight isn't necessarily for everyone but the goal of this is to help broaden your idea of what you can actually do on your vlog channel. Maybe you can start thinking about what type of different shots you can get for your vlogs and how you can start creating a different feel within your whole entire vlog. Lately I've been using the GoPro more and more and one of the downsides to it is how shaky it is. So I bought a gimbal to stabilize it. Although I'm spotlighting one product in particular, there are a lot of options with various different price ranges that will hopefully fit your needs. This gimbal is made by G3 Ultra and was much more advanced than I thought it would be. Going into it, I thought it'd be similar to a DSLR stabilizer where it's just a mount and you counterbalance it and then it's ready to go. This one, however, you have to charge it, you have to replace the batteries and you even have to update the firmware. And you even have to operate it in a different way than you would with a steady cam. However, the shots won't lie. It definitely creates a whole new feel and brings more professionalism to the table. If I bring my GoPro with me, you better believe I'll bring the gimbal as well. It's really quick to set up, easy to learn to operate, and again, get some killer shots. Now again, this isn't necessarily for everyone, but there are a lot of different options out there for you, whether you use a GoPro or just a pocket cam, or want to use a monopod, tripod, steady cam, gimbal, or even DIY build. There's a lot of different price ranges, a lot of different options, and all of them have their own different functionalities. So look around and see what you can use for your vlog channel to help get you some cooler shots and get a more professional feel to your vlog channel as a whole. Anyways guys, I hope this helps you think differently about your vlog channel. Maybe you could start thinking about how you can up the production quality and see what parts you can get or what equipment you can get to start getting more interesting creative shots. But that's all the time I have for today. If you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the link in the sidebar. And of course, if you want to see more of me or my vlog channel, you can click the links down in the description below and hang out with me every single day. But anyways guys, that's it and we'll see you next week. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.